like. <laughs> oh, I think it sticks in there good too. Again, point still good. No rolling. Holds in there tight. I like it. What's going on, guys? This is 556 EDC Survival. Uh, we've got um, the MTAC uh, MX8054, if I'm correct. Yes. Uh, the knife has a full tang. Um, I love the grip on it, tell you the truth. It's nice and solid. I like the finger guard too um, for jabbing, and that doesn't bring your hand up, so you can't cut yourself, obviously. Um, a very thick back, um, I'd say at least 3 16 quarter inch, something like that, in the back side here for pounding on it. This is a style of a tracker knife um, because of this flat spot here. Uh, I like taking this for a uh, let's take a stick. We'll just take something simple here. <clears throat> Taking it, of course, whittling for spears, whatever. That's just destroying that little piece. And this, of course, here for slicing. Point here, perfect for uh, making your uh, board for a bow drill. That's why I, I checked this thing out and uh, I'm going to do a review on it because I had everything I liked about it. Um, it's not expensive. I think you can pick it up for like 25 bucks or something like that online. Um, don't quote me on that, but um, you have these eyelet holes here too, which I like. You can put 550 cord uh, or any kind of cordage, um, put it through here, wrap it around your wrist so it stays on your hand when you're using it. Um, same thing back here. Uh, you can put a strap back here as well too um, for hanging wherever you need to. Um, again, the grip is nice and tight. I've got a big hand, so I like the way it feels in mine. <clears throat> The blood groove on here, the saw back. Um, it, it's it's a very stout knife, but this is the first time I've actually taken it out, and I'm gonna try it out and see how it actually performs. Um, again, another thing I like too is that it is a heavy end, so you do butt somebody with it. It's another weapon that way as well. If you don't want to cut, slice somebody, or even an animal, you can use that for knocking something out. So we're gonna try it, slicing it. Oh, of course the the sheath here as well. Um, this isn't exactly what it's for, but I use it that way. I use it for holding my magazine in there. Um, you can put fire starter, you can put flint, whatever. Um, you can put uh, Altoid first, survival kit. Yeah, yeah, you can see our video Altoid survival kit. Works perfect. Um, uh, one thing that I don't like about it is this strap isn't big enough for a big guy like me to go around my leg. You can modify it with using this. Other than that, it's a decent sheath. Um, I'll probably end up making something different though too because of the fact that it'll wear out eventually even with this insert inside here. I'm not big on either. Um, Kydex sheath is the way I like to have uh, in a knife but <clears throat> for the price of this I'm not complaining whatsoever really. So we're going to try and chop this thing up here. See how well it does. I'm kind of hesitant because of the fact that this is first time so we're using a little bit of a dead wood. Didn't do bad. Nice and sharp for the first thing. Well, I can't complain about that. Holding up. <clears throat> no dents. No bends. Like I said, really stout. No folds on the end. So it's staying staying sharp it's got a good edge on it the mtech mx 8054 check it out online see what you think about it it's a cheap knife to do what you want with it and beat it up and see how well it does out there in the woods um, i'll take it with me wherever i go if i need to out in the woods it's performing all right uh, we'll keep you updated for some more reviews when we go out and uh, do survival weekends or weeks and uh, see how it performs out there, you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Found something else new about the knife here, too, while we're playing around. Point of impact for punching, basically. So we're going to see <laughs> the damage on this thing. Here we go. Oh, top and bottom. Those two things, I didn't even hit my knuckles on there, so imagine that. And you can do the same thing. Backside, we're just going to do the bottom, so... Leaves much.
Old barn don't matter. It's mine. It's no big deal. And then we'll do full back. Well, there's a dent. That's a skull crusher right there. And that's not even full, like, on it didn't mess coming that across. It's just hitting right here. Or even standing sideways to it. Didn't dent it. Didn't ding it. Didn't bend it. I'm, in, I'm enjoying this cheap knife. Fun times, guys. <laughs> Buy it. Check it out yourself, you guys. Enjoy. Have some fun with it and see what you think.